Cool. I'm the last one. Let's just get through it. <laughs> my name's Yana Lustina, and for my project, I use machine learning to <laughs> make a Raspberry Pi self-driving car. Here's the actual car. It's pretty great. Before I get started, I want to thank Tech Systems and Zoro for sponsoring us today, Chippy for providing us with this community and mentorship program, and Zax for being my mentor and giving me the support I needed to go from not knowing any Python to making my own car. Let's see if this works. Cool. There was a bit of a learning curve because I had no prior programming or machine learning experience, but with lots of studying and some help, I succeeded in making a car. I also made a Docker container to make the project as reproducible as possible. I use software from Ogma, a company that builds AI technology using neuroscience. Their Ogma Neo software is based on the Feynman machine, and that is what made this car possible. The Feynman machine is a brain-inspired sequence prediction algorithm for machine learning. The system adapts, adapts to predict its future inputs. It is a series of encoders and decoders that use local prediction error, so it uses no back propagation, which makes it really quick and efficient. While the Feynman machine is not for beginners due to the combination of hard math, neuroscience, and machine learning, Agma has done an extraordinary job in packaging their software in a way that is approachable. If you want to learn more about the Feynman machine, there's actually a bit.ly link down here that you can look up later, and that leads to their documentation. The Agma Neo library is online learning software. It's based on the Feynman machine. Agma Neo isn't intended to replace current deep learning systems, but instead tackles online, lear online learning problems where backpropagation methods are either too slow or are not flexible enough. Agma Neo is great for machine learning problems that have to do with data changing over time. On the right is a video prediction experiment where the network predicted the image on the top left. It's pretty nifty. It uses a prediction hierarchy to guess what will come next, given the input that pr was provided. The experiment uh, with the bird was relevant to my project because I give the steering angle and the video input to the car's data, and it learns to predict what my next command will be, um, essentially driving itself. It's super cool. Eagmanio is actually the embedded version of Agmanio, and while Agmanio can run on large networks and parallel architectures like GPUs, Eagmanio runs in the CPU and is optimized for low-powered hardware like my little Pi. So cliff notes of all of that, given the input I give the car, it predicts what I'm likely to do next and just does it before I actually tell it to do it. If you want to learn more about the Feynman machine on Agmanio, please come to the data sig in July. Also, these are the bit.ly links that you can use to learn more about the Feynman machine and Eagmanio. The car uses OpenCV for image processing, a uh, Pi game for using a steam controller to control it and train it, and Eagmanio for machine learning. All of the materials and assembly instructions are actually on my Yana SDC bit.ly link, and that leads to my project repo, which is super thorough if you wanted to build one your own. I also made a diagram of some of the wiring. Uh, on the left is the Pi, and Eagma Neo runs in the Pi, and all of the computation and learning is done on there. The Arduino on the right only controls the servos for both steering and driving, and those are connected uh, through digital pins. And after assembly installation, this is what I got. <laughs> I trained the car using a steam controller and all of the computation is done locally. There is no pre-training and no offloading to a powerful machine. Ooh, let's play it. I'm so excited. How do you do this? I haven't done a PowerPoint in like a decade. Bear with me. Okay, cool. Getting the car running was a bit problematic at first. On top of having to learn Python and machine learning, I had to learn how to wire all the hardware and make all of the components work nicely together. <laughs> I'm really glad it ended up being super durable. Um, <laughs> and then we started the actual learning process. The car takes video from the camera and the steering angles that I give it through the steam controller and uses a predictive hierarchy to predict the next desired steering angle. So the network learns to predict the next command as I drove it. Uh, because I use Diagma Neo, not only is the system more computation friendly, <laughs> I 
I can't take it seriously. It's so great. I love it so much. Uh, not only is the system more computation friendly, but with it being an online learning system, I'm done training my car in minutes as opposed to having to spend hours collecting data um, for deep learning systems. I had to drive it for a while, but for about five minutes into it, uh, it started adjusting itself and driving itself. I'm happy about the progress it made, and I'm going to also record it going on curvier roads and other kinds of tracks too. Make it a little harder. Oh no, come on. Okay. One of my goals was to make this project as reproducible as possible, so I created a Docker container compiled for the Pi that contains literally everything that you would need um, to make it yourself if you wanted to. Otherwise, the installs take several hours on the Pi and they're kind of a pain. If you're interested in making a car of your own, check out these links. And I want to say a big thank you to my mentor, Zax, and Jason Carlock, Eric from Magma, Chippy for making this happen, and Tech Systems, and Zorro for sponsoring us today.